Um, quick video to put up of an installation of a K KDZ file onto a GT540. I already have uh, M6 running here, as you can see, I've put it from an other video I have built already. I uh, put it into recovery mode just to uh, wipe uh, factory data, uh, Dalvik cache, and just the cache partition as well. Pretty much follow these, you'd be grand. I'm just gonna speed up a little bit and super fingers. Um, I, I powered it off at the end, but if you want, you can just uh power it back up because it's it it will turn on the phone as soon as you plug it into the gate KDZ. So just just reboot basically reboot system. I powered off because I was an idiot and I had to wait to reboot it. All right, um, download the flasher files and put them in the description. Uh, you need to run Windows Enabler first. Um, I went into compatibility and ran with a uh, Windows Service Pack 3 because I don't know why I did that. I just do it normally. Run as administrator. Then go into the uh, KDZ opener or the KDZ flasher. Um, yeah, there's the black corks. Or, sorry, no, that's the market um, KDZ file there. That's what's going to give us a lot of memory. Turn on the Windows Enabler. Uh, keep it on the 3G, whatever, and don't put it into anything else apart from DIAG. Then browse, click browse there. To get your bot or your KDZ file. I have mine in download and in my phone folder. So just find just find wherever you put it. Put it in there. Connect your phone. Um, right now. Then. Um, wait for it to connect into the uh, computer. I think my connects, but you can't hear it in the video. Um, yeah, you can just see the the timer coming up. Then, as soon as you have your phone connected up, and so you have to wait for it to reboot here because uh, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I powered off, so I have to reboot the whole system again from. Very start of Swift Road, you know, takes like a good two minutes to boot up. So, well, anyways, when you get into uh, you say your lock screen, just put in your pin, then press uh, launch, it will go through a lot of like command looking things. Basically, uh, just let it go to the end, but sometimes if it doesn't. Where, like it used to happen to me a lot when I was uh, first starting off the flash KDZ that uh, it would get about it'd say go into download mode and then it'd just go phone not found but what I used to do is get an LG driver even though I had it installed already you can just double click it and let it run in and then have your KDZ run in the background just uh, relaunch it and uh, I don't know what it does it just makes the phone respond or something I, I really don't know what it does but anyway, it works. Um, just run it, run the the driver um, as normal as you would with a normal driver. Then it should uh, start running the background. Then th don't click onto the uh, the actual uh, KDZ flashing LG electronic thing in the background there, because it'll it'll just say not responding, and then it might freeze on you, and then you gotta start all over again. So just keep a window open to front. Um, that's basically just going into download mode. I'll show you there. It's going into download mode now. See, that was the old KDZ. That's what it looked like. I'm not sure what the new one will look like. Cause it's, you know, I just sped that up there. Here, one's not going to go that fast at all. It does. You got like a beast of a computer in here. Um. At the end of this video, I will be. I'll just briefly install um, M6 Swift Droid. There, when 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 the when it's finished uh, flashing onto it, it will go. Your phone will reboot, and it's stock 2.1 basically, apart from a few changes. There, now I'm flat. I put it into fast boot mode. 
which is uh camera oh, no, sorry power and uh camera button then uh, i ran the uh m6 to install it on here we go here's the first boot i kind of like chopped it up a bit because it's a bit slower so here's a bit set up <laughs> And basically that's it. Then I'll just show you. You get two hundred and thirty seven megabytes of free memory in the inside which wasn't normally there. Yeah, it kinda lags there for some reason. I don't know, I think it's just catching the widgets, I'm not sure. I don't really run widgets on my home screen, so it's okay. For that reason, because it actually makes them makes that lag and uses up your RAM. Basically, I was going to try and show you the uh, the amount of free memory I have, but the far I'm using my Galaxy S to record this, and it still doesn't focus because I thought my last HD camera didn't focus in on any of the small writing. But yeah, did, this didn't focus either, so I'm gonna have to try and find something that focuses. Yeah, so there's 237 megabytes of memory inside the phone, whereas normally you only have probably about 150 max maximum um 72 megabytes around free which is pretty good then i got this guy went up to 80 so that's pretty good for switch droid um so that's about it now I'm gonna leave it with a, a nice smiley plug um i will do in my next video an installation of a team I, i've seen on the xda website that a lot of people who have uh, been having like issues i don't know I'll just do, I'll just put up a video anyway just to show you what it's like and how easy it is. Um don't forget to subscribe, rate, comment, whatever. And like this video. And if you want, say thanks to me on XDA. So peace.